Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at Google Sites and how to change the header. Here I am in Google Sites. When we talk about the header, the header is the top area here. You'll notice there's a Franklin logo that comes in automatically, as well as the site name you chose when you created the site. To change your header, you have to go to the More button up here, and you scroll to the bottom of this, and there's a choice for Manage Site. This takes you behind the scenes where you can make changes that affect your overall site. When you come into the Manage Site area, you start off on the General page, and here is the site name that you chose when you created your site. You can change this. So if I know I'm going to make a site on snowboarding, I can type in snowboarding, and now this will appear at the top of my, in my header. Uh, this does not change the address for your site. The address you chose does stay the same. This checkbox means that if I leave this checked, this name will appear at the top. So I'm going to leave that checked. Before you jump to another page back here, it's good to hit save. And actually, if you don't hit save, the browser will tell you that there were changes made and you do need to save. So make sure you hit save before you jump to another page. I went to site layout. This is the overall layout of how the, um, the front or the actual website that people see. This is how it looks. And you control that back here. Here's the header area. If I go to change logo, I can decide if I want to leave the Franklin logo in there. That's the domain default. I can do a custom logo. So if you have any skills creating graphics using Photoshop or other photo or graphic type applications, you can make your own logo. Let me show a different Google site where I made a logo. I made this image using Photoshop, some text, picture. And when you make this, it's good to make it between 800 to 1,000 pixels wide by maybe... 90 to 150 pixels in height because then it's a good banner that will encompass the top of your site. So if you're familiar with how to do that you can make your own image and then upload it as your logo by choosing custom logo, hitting choose file and bringing that in from your flash driver from your computer. Or the other choice is no logo. That just means you won't have the Franklin logo and maybe you don't want to create a logo you can choose no logo and hit OK. There's other choices back here. If you go into change site layout, you can actually decide if you want your sidebar where all your pages display on the left side or the right side. You can decide how wide that should be. Uh, if I want my, my header to be centered, I can choose that here. There's all different choices in here that affect the overall layout of your, your page, your front home page. So I'm going to click save, and I'm going to go back up here. This takes me back to the front of the website. So let's go back there and take a look. So here I, I made snowboarding the word that shows at the top. I told it to be centered. It also centered the search for the site and uh, took out the Franklin logo. So that's how you can change your header. Thanks for watching.